emeralds have been captivating our attention for thousands of years. Prized for their rich color, they are the most vibrant of all green gemstones. In the jewelry world, colored gems are indeed the ultimate luxury. Originating from a finite resource, each one boasting a unique character. Of the three crown jewels of colored stones, alongside rubies and sapphires, emeralds are associated with hope, new beginnings and the budding signs of spring. In this video we will be diving into the fascinating history behind some of the most famous emerald pieces ever created. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. The Chalk Emerald One of the most famous emeralds in the world is the Chalk Emerald. It ranks among the finest emeralds to be discovered due to its outstanding clarity and velvety rich green color. Legend states that the Chalk Emerald was once the centerpiece of an emerald and diamond necklace belonging to a Maharani of the former state of Baroda, India. It originally weighed 38.4 carats but was recut losing half of its weight and set in a platinum and gold ring designed by Harry Winston, where it is surrounded by 60 pear-shaped diamonds totaling 15 carats. The ring was purchased by Oscar Roy Chalk, the New York-based real estate and media mogul, for his wife, Claire. Later, in 1972, it was donated by Mr. and Mrs. Chalk to the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. Henkel von Donner's Mark Tiara The tiara, originally gifted to Katharina Henkel von Donner's Mark by her husband, has a storied history. The Henkel von Donner's Mark, an ancient German noble family, were at one point the second wealthiest family in the entire country. The tiara features 11 emeralds weighing more than 500 carats which are believed to have once belonged to Empress Eugene of France. The base of the tiara boasts a series of large cushion-cut diamonds, resting atop a row of diamond laurels. In 1979, the family turned to Sotheby's to sell the tiara, which was eventually purchased by a private buyer that November. When the owner decided to sell the tiara, Sotheby's once again handled the sale. Pre-auction estimates suggested the tiara would fetch between 5 and 10 million dollars. But when it was sold in 2011, a private buyer paid a staggering 12.7 million dollars, setting a world record price for tiara sold at auction. Elizabeth Taylor's Bulgari Emerald Suit Bulgari Emerald Suit consists of an emerald necklace, emerald and diamond pendant, matching set of earrings, emerald ring and a bracelet. She wore the pendant as a brooch as well. Crafted by the renowned Italian jewelry brand Bulgari, the suit boasts a series of large and colorful emeralds set in a platinum and diamonds. The suit was a gift from Richard Burton, her then husband. He acquired it after several trips to the Bulgari boutique on the Via Condotti in Rome. Richard Burton gave her the emerald and diamond brooch as an engagement present and necklace as a wedding present. Earrings, a bracelet and a ring followed. The necklace is the most iconic and fabulous of this set. In 2011, the full set was sold for a combined price of approximately $23 million as a part of Christie's celebrated auction of Elizabeth Taylor's personal collection. Mackay Emerald Necklace The Mackay Emerald is set in a pendant of diamonds and platinum designed by Cartier Incorporated. The Mackay Emerald was mined in Muzo, Colombia, a region well known for producing some of the world's finest emeralds. These green gems were used by indigenous people for at least 1000 years before the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors in the 16th century. The Art Deco style necklace was a wedding gift in 1931 from Clarence Mackay to his wife Anna Case, a prima donna of the New York Metropolitan Opera. The emerald weighs 167.97 carats 
and is set in platinum with 35 emeralds and more than 2000 diamonds. Mrs. Anna Case cherished the piece until her death in 1984 at the age of 96, at which time it was bequeathed to the Smithsonian, where it still resides in the gem hall at the National Museum of Natural History. Vladimir Tiara The tiara was commissioned by the Grand Duchess Vladimir from the Romanov court jeweler Bolin and was hidden away in the palace in St. Petersburg, where it was kept safe during the Russian Revolution, before being secretly smuggled out of Russia and then sold to Queen Mary. Originally, the tiara featured 15 intertwined diamond circles with large pearl drops, making it a truly magnificent piece of jewelry. Queen Mary added a detachable emerald and diamond piece to the center, making the tiara even more versatile and impressive. Today, the Vladimir tiara remains a part of the British royal family's extensive jewelry. It is particularly associated with Queen Elizabeth II, who has worn it on multiple occasions. Princess Faiza's Art Deco Emerald and Diamond Necklace In 1929, Princess Faiza of Egypt acquired a necklace from Van Cleef and Arpels, which underwent modifications in the late 1930s. The necklace features diamond droplets set with nine old emeralds and takes the form of highly flexible choker. The jewel also boasts particularly ornate clasps, which positions a tense emerald at the back. Princess Faiza, known for her elegance and unique collection of jewelry, had a fondness for blending old stones with contemporary settings. She often wore her emerald necklace at balls held in Paris, Cairo and the Côte d'Azur. Later, the piece was sold at auction in November 2013 at Christie's in Geneva to a new owner for a $3.8 million dollars who then sold it to Van Cleef and Arpels for their private collection. The Rockefeller Winston Ring Originally acquired by John D. Rockefeller Jr. in 1930s, the emerald was intended to be used as the centerpiece for a brooch for his wife, Abby Aldrich Rockefeller. After her passing in 1948, the youngest son, David Rockefeller, inherited the emerald and sold the services of master jeweler Raymond Yard to create a new design for the family gemstone. This resulted in the creation of a platinum ring that would become the Rockefeller Emerald's new setting. In 2017, the renowned Rockefeller Emerald, more than 18 carat gemstone with a rich history was sold on Christie's auction. The emerald was purchased by Harry Winston for $5.5 million, setting a new record for the most expensive emerald per carat ever sold at auction, with a cost of $305,000 per carat. After purchasing the emerald, Harry Winston Jewelry House designed a new setting for it, adding Winston's signature style. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.